What's up, YouTube? Good morning. It's Brian. Back with another video with Winning Ass Car Wash. Shout out to all my Winning Ass Lifestyle people. Yo, today is a good day. We got a lot of work to do because um, the weather finally let up. But we're getting on to a little bit of a shaky start. I'm actually on my way to go deal with um, broken issues on um, the other trailer. Mikael unplugged the uh, generator. No, he unplugged the air compressor from the generator. The cord fell on the ground, got drugged, and it messed up the um, messed up the prongs on it. So they have no power to the uh, air compressor right now. So I gotta go over here, fix this, get on to him about unplugging stuff that don't need to be unplugged, and uh, hopefully we can can continue on the day without no issues so that's what i'm in the mode of doing right now i got some stuff that i'm gonna take care of on my own as well today so that's just how it is um once the weather let up us car wash guys get the booming so i got about six or i'll say like six to eight different locations to hit today so we're gonna try to get it all knocked out and see what today brings All right, guys, we jumping out of the truck. About to go see what we could do to fix this uh, air compressor. See what these boys got going on, man. It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. So this is what we got going on. Broken plug. I'm gonna try to get this thing fixed real quick and uh, go from there. All right, guys, so I got it split open. I'm gonna take the wires and we're gonna put brand new plug on the get it fixed so these boys can get back to work. Be good to go. What's up, Joe? Man, we ain't stop working, baby. Man, listen, y'all gotta stop tearing stuff up, man. So, they don't teach us at home. You pull up, I drive the other two hoes off the truck. No, no, listen, man. He got, he got me missing work. Because I got to fix what McHale broke. Because you let him unplug it. What'd you tell me? What? <laughs> don't do that no more. Don't, don't do it no more. <laughs> hey, no, nah, he had unplugged it and it drug, it drug it on the ground. So eventually it just broke. <laughs> what that happened? I don't know. It, it's been like a few weeks. I've been meaning to fix it, but I thought y'all was gonna make it before I like. Oh, this happened when I left. I don't know. I don't know if it happened before or what. What's going on? You doing all right? Yes, sir. You guys got a card for you? Yeah. yeah. Let me get you one out of the truck. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, the prices on the website. Um, basic services start at sixty, and then a detail gonna be like one forty and up. Okay. Yes, sir. Guys, come over here to do this. I don't think whenever you, guys over here. yeah, man, we be everywhere. Um, whenever you want us, man, we'll come, come take care of you. Ooh, I'm trying to get this thing from unstuck. Here, let me get you a fresh car. That's it right there. Yeah, check our website out. It's got the pricing on there. You can schedule on there. You can call the check in. How do you want to do it? Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You too. All right. Got us some potential business going on right there. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, focus on getting this plug back on here. And then we're going to go to the next step. All right, guys. So I put my due diligence in on fixing this plug. Yeah. Shout out to my dad. I used to see him put these things together and fix them. Yeah, I got it fixed. We gonna plug it up, see if it works.
thought I had, I had mixed the ground wire up into the wrong spot. I keep the jets in the air. All right, so I put the ground in the wrong spot, but Mikkel came and helped me get it right. So shout out to Mikkel on that one. I thought I had it right, but I didn't. So we got the plug fixed. So now that problem is not a problem no more. Get my knife and stuff. Oh my gosh, bro, what happened to my knife? All right, we got the knife situated. Um, boy, today has been a day already. We gotta play some super catch up. So I'm about to get on the phone with these customers. Uh, just park it. I, well, I guess I can. Uh -huh. I said I guess I can go take it back to him. Go ahead and call that um call that lady in Alachua with know, the, the recommended skip skip the skip the one the other sixty and go do the yeah do the recommended. Gotcha. Yeah, and then um y'all probably end up shooting to Alachua to do the other sixty. Yeah, cause um the um I got one at my you know the lady with the, the dog that I always bite you. <laughs> so she want um she want some she want the little Kia done. So that's gonna be like a little simple job and then um that RV wise. So hopefully y'all I don't I hope y'all got enough time. It looks kinda crazy right now. But I mean it's a um it's a Honda Pilot or whatever for the recommended. Like I guess that's the hardest one for today. And then it's just travel time. Uh, All right. All right, man. We about to get this uh, basic detail back over here to this guy. I cannot see nothing in this man. Make sure I use my mirrors. And slide back over here. Got this boss trying to follow me around today. Let me go ahead and talk to this customer and get it figured out. All right, y'all, we got all the money from that job. I got to look at my schedule, my phone. Like I say, you know, when the weather is good my phone starts blowing up so that's what i got going on so i'm gonna focus on like my scheduling and stuff like that make sure everything is on the uh google sheets that needs to be on there and uh, i'm gonna go from there all right y'all we back i just pulled up to the customer's house um they put neglected detail on there i can see why they will put neglected detail but this ain't a neglected detail so it's actually a recommended detail um, that's listed on our site for the stuff that I've seen in here already. I'm gonna show y'all around so you can see what it's looking like. And you can get the gist of, uh, you know, what a recommended detail kind of entails and whatnot. But uh, let's check it out. So what I did see, they got like a little slight, slight mold issue right here. Um, the floor obviously needs to be vacuumed properly, but it ain't a lot of dog hair, nothing like that in it. The cup holders uh, need the interior, strong interior cleaner on it. And it's got like a little smell of like, you know, the mold and stuff like that being in it. Panels just need to be wiped down properly. Uh, we got a little bit of stuff inside this thing right here as well. The door jams, they need to be done properly. And um, the seats, they didn't need to be shampooed or nothing like that. So, and then we got a few items and stuff in the back. Um, that need to be moved around, but like I said, nothing major is sticking out. It needs a proper wash, and uh, even the bat. The bat's not even horrible. You know, it just got a few particular things. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it too well right there, but yeah, right there you can see the dust needs to the wipe in. So what we do is we do a little mixture of like the interior cleaner which is the level two cleaner, which is the strongest cleaner that we have, um, along with the, you know, the light cleaner on um, stuff like this and whatnot. So we do like a mix when we're doing the recommended. We just 
we pay attention to everything that needs to be done that's the most important so with the recommended details so it's kind of like a little mix of everything um the outside um really dusty it's been sitting up under the trees you can see the wheels got a lot of dirt and stuff on them just from sitting and them not doing nothing with it it's real dirty right here so wash gonna take care of that we're gonna get up under the fenders and whatnot so we'll be good but man this is this is a uh, pretty easy but it does classify as a recommended detail uh, we're gonna charge them 240 for this one because it's in the, the class of sedan slash small SUV or whatever. So other than that, man, we gonna get this thing locked and loaded and ready. I'm gonna give y'all some clips. I got a lot to do today, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock this thing out, and show you the after um, once we done, and keep it going. All right, y'all, we is back. I got the uh, detail all done. I'm gonna take you around it, let you see how it came out. Came out nice and shiny. Let's look at it. Got the wheels. Paint's looking good. Start opening up the inside so you can check it out. No more mold on the doors. It's all wiped down properly. Got the cup holder area looking right. Got all the dog hair and stuff. Did actually find some dog hair when I let the seats down, so. That was an upcharge. You can see the door jams looking a whole lot better. Same thing with this side. Got everything all nice and white down. And this one as well. Hey, I'm gonna call you right back in about five or 10 minutes. Yes, sir. All right, guys, that's a wrap on the uh, Jeep Cherokee. It came out nice, didn't take me too long, but it was a recommended detail. Um, when I initially looked at it, it didn't look like it had any dog hair, but I found some when I let the seats down, so I did do an upcharge for that. But other than that, man, let's go settle up with the customer. All right, guys, so I'm back. I done made it to Alacha Way. It's another city that's close to us. Um, we out here. We're going to do this uh, Murano real quick. I'm going to show you the inside. Now, granted, when you see the inside, it, it is messed up. But remember, we got basic services that will clean it up, get you back shining. And this is a great example to show you how you can have a car that is messed up. But if you just go into basic services, we can get you looking nice so let's check this thing out see how dirty it is obviously you can see the outside it definitely needs a wash the rims look it ugly the front got the brake caliber dust making this one look ugly as well got a lot of residue and bugs on the front end got to get all that stuff off and right here we also got the rims looking rough now interior wise look at all this stuff we got going on here we got stuff everywhere and uh you know so what we're gonna do is pretty much gather the items get them out of the way give this thing a nice vac hit the cup holder area and uh it's gonna look 100 percent better i guarantee you but we're not gonna go into like a full detail on certain things that's on my website because it's just basic services and that's what we do with basic services. We keep the price low. Um, it don't take us that long to get it done. So you're in and out, but your car is gonna come out looking spectacular. So once again, I'm gonna get into it, let y'all see the ending and uh, that's what it is. What's up y'all, I'm back. Okay, just did the, um, basic detail, basic services. 
however you want to put it. It's on the website, winningedgecarwash.com. Basic services. I'm going to show you what you get. Y'all seeing how that thing was looking? So, it's the cheapest package on the website, but we just pay attention to the exact particulars. Wash, tire shine, vacuum, air dusted, hit the cup holders, make it smell good. We out of there. Simple as that. Let's check it out. Think it look good? I think it look good. What y'all think? What y'all think? Y'all seen what it was looking like? Y'all see the outside? Got all the bugs off. That's another thing that come with it. All the particulars. Looking good. Mats all clean, got the cup holder area looking good. I know y'all can't smell it, but it's there. And this side, looking good. See some of that flu in there. It's always some that flies in here. When we got the doors up in. All right, we all set. That is the basic services. Y'all check it out at winningashcarwash.com and book your appointment today. All right, guys, we're gonna call this next customer and see if he's still on the hook for today. Um, if not, we might be going home. Um, we done hit that thousand dollar threshold, so I'm okay with leaving today. So I can go get ready for tomorrow because it's the end of the week. Everybody's calling. So, you know, it would be nice. But let's see what, what happens. machine on that one. Um, i call one more that was requesting service today. A lot of these people, I always tell people like the car wash be like hot and ready pizza. So if you don't get to them right then and there, sometimes they will go ahead and switch out on you and find somebody else. But that's just part of the game. It ain't no love loss. I'm going to let them know like, hey, I called. Please call back. That's what you got to say. Hey, hey, call me back. Hey. Oh, please call back. I got one more other person that I can go check on. So let's give them a call, see what happens, see if they still on the hook. One don't now, so you gotta move on to the next. It's part of the game. What's up? This is uh, Brian with Winning Edge Car Wash. Yeah, I'm uh, Are you available? I don't know where now, so I'm at work now. Um, where you work at? Um, like in Gainesville. Like, I'm, can I call you right back because I'm driving a bus? Oh, okay, okay. Cool, yeah. Okay. Yep, give me a call. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, so I was trying to go to the other person who was saying that they wanted to uh, do their vehicle today. Um, don't look like um, they're available. they driving a bus, so I'm guessing they work for the city bus system or whatever. But we'll see what happens later on. I mean, it's, it's still early in the day, and we um, I love this time of the year because we can detail all the way up to about 8 o'clock. 
because you know we get dark later now so but i'm really excited about today i mean for what we already done did um we done hit a thousand dollars so i'm so happy um and then much more i can say you know what i'm saying y'all be sure to check us out y'all see what them basic services do or you can get you a detail i mean dude gave me 300 bucks for the jeep today that i did uh the recommended detail on so you know I'm just trying to see like you know what other money I can run up for the day because this week has been kind of shaky because of um, the weather. Weather always plays a factor in like you know the ultimate money we make during the week. And I mean, hopefully in the future I have car washes across the nation or something going on, man, because it does affect me uh, greatly whenever we have like bad weather and whatnot. So you know, right now I'm just trying to play catch up for the week and see what we can get. Calling this guy back one more time. If not, that's the end, man. No lucky answering. Um, for the most part, I'm gonna say it like this. Yeah, I'm gonna say it like this. I mean more that I could do um, but with me being like when you running your own business like you end up doing everything as you can see I physically do the details I be take the calls I schedule everything in on the computer I do my advertising all that good stuff and like you know it's a lot man and then I got to deal with like personal life issues as well so I be dealing with a lot um as a businessman, you know, I definitely um, know, like, hopefully in the future as I get more money and get more business and stuff like that, I can start uh, delegating other tasks to other people and stuff, and I'm already doing that with, like, the actual jobs itself, because y'all see, I, I really uh, enjoy being around my team and stuff like that, but it is a busy day uh, with us coming off the rain spell and, and whatnot, so that's why I'm out here getting it in. I mean, that's how I started a business, so y'all support one of those car wise because nothing but just you know young entrepreneurs just trying to find our own way and do a great job that's how i got all the great five star reviews that's on the website we up to like 294 so we got we shooting for the stars on everything so y'all check us out but that's the end